All right, guys, so an update. We made it to our drop. It is 3.44 in the morning. Nobody has a tow motor certification to unload me until 6 a.m. Six people here working, nobody to unload me. So, going to get some broken sleep. That part sucks. Uh, part of the gig, but uh, I am just going to get comfortable, kind of chill out. Got the diesel heater going. If you can hear that tick, that's that fuel pump right over there. So, yeah. So I'm just going to climb in bed, probably grab a couple hours, uh, get up, get this off loaded. Uh, there ain't nobody, there ain't nowhere really close to here. I think there was a Walmart down the road a little bit, but probably go to the Walmart as soon as I get unloaded and grab a little bit more sleep before I start getting on the boards. Because I want to get rested. I don't want to have that, that dragon ass, uh, tired stuff going on but yeah let me just give you a quick let you guys know this is what you got to do with your van man for real i see so many guys out here with their bare bones van and i feel bad for them, man i'd like to feel like being able to give everybody a hand getting their van set up i mean it takes some money and everything but at the same time it is so well worth it to uh get everything insulated you know, back there behind those walls, that's that gray carpet on the front. Then just Luon plywood behind it. Got some insulation behind it, some reflectics. And got rock wool in like the open cavities up there. I've kind of touched on it before, but yeah, man, you got to get set up out here. If you're doing over the road, for sure, because, you know, you're living in this thing, man. I'm in this thing more than I'm home, so I try to get everything I can comfort-wise. Everything I can comfort-wise at home in my van. It may not be the best, but, hey, I'm comfortable in this thing. I'm going to be cool in the heat. And I'm going to be warm in the winter. I got a nice bed. Like I said, I'm good to go, man. I got everything I need. So, I'm going to bed. <laughs>